Hello guys, my name is LukerBomb12, and this is a segment called Let's Fail a Classic, which is where I pick any kind of classic game that I fail at and fail. I mean, I'm trying to succeed, but I can't because I'm incapable, but I make fun of myself, so it's really kind of funny. Now, I have not done these since Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link, and that was back in June or July. Back when I was a novice, or I'm still a novice, really. So, in some segment, I said the next one would be Zelda Zelda Original or Kid Icarus. Well, Zelda Original, I I would have, that would be the first NES game I've actually beaten, because I've actually, well, I haven't beaten it. No, I haven't beaten it, not yet. But I'm actually decent at that, and Kid Icarus, that would be it, but I don't have it on me right now. I would have to buy it back, or download it back. So I'm going to do, this is going to be a two-parter, by the way, after... We're going to do two classics. Not in the same video, but our first one's going to be Metroid. I recently bought this game. I, I was trying to say, okay, which NES game can I beat? I, can, I, I wanted to pick the easiest one possible, but one that was actually good. Yeah, I don't really care. So I think I already got the Morph Ball, because I'm just starting over and starting over. Yes, I got the Morph Ball from over there. Let's see how well we do. You know, one of these things, when you play games back, like from back then, like the back then time, it, it's really a... What it really is, is... It's like a... It's interesting how there's no opening cutscenes. I'm like... Who am I? What am I doing? Why am I in this dungeon of some sorts? I always found that so weird how they never said anything. Obviously, back then, manuals of games were far more important. Today, I say, not so important, but back then, manuals were still important. I mean, they were really, really important. Nowadays, they're only kind of amusing. They're only to look at when you're on the car ride home from the game store. That's all I use them for. Plus, I like seeing what recommended games they are. Oh, I forgot how dark it gets here. As you can see, I'm taking hits left and right. It takes... Yeah, so if everything kills you, or everything takes 8 health away, but you only get 5 back. Except for this guy, we're going to get 20 from if we can beat him. I didn't expect to die this quickly. Whoa. But, I just kept taking hits. Maybe it's because commentary. Well, we're not going to fail in 243. We're going to keep trying. Now, yes, this is Metroid, and uh, I'm not sure how many of you know this yet, but I am going to do a Metroid game as a future LP, which will most likely come in July or August. That game is Metroid Other M for the Wii. Now, don't say, oh, that game sucks, although I've already talked about enough about that. Haha. <laughs> But I love Metroid Other M. I love that game. There are a couple things I don't like about it, like the sheer difficulty at some points. But, I mean, it's not the, one of the hardest games ever. Not as hard as this one, because I... Metroid Other... The best way I can look at it, Metroid Other M is... Zelda is the Zelda 2 of today. That's all I'm going to say. It's different from the other Metroids. It's harder than the other 3D Metroids. But it's got mixed reactions. Some people like it, some people don't. So, Metroid Other M is the Zelda 2 of today. But this is classic, so we're going to talk about classics, which is Metroid NES, which is what I'm playing. So, we've gotten a little bit farther this time. What One thing about this game is the... In one episode, the angry video game nerd said something like, If you're gonna have... If you're not gonna let your character shoot down, then don't have enemies on the ground. Well, this is like the perfect example of that, and this is what many people would consider to be a really good game. I think it has to do with something with the item collecting that involves with it. As far as that goes, I'd say Legend of Zelda is a much better one. Or Mega Man. Mega Man 1 would be my fail classic, but I don't actually own that. I do own Mega Man 3, which is going to be what I'm going to do right after this, right after I finish recording this for however many minutes I need to. Sometimes, I think that 
if they had taken so much health away from you for such little guys, then they should at least give you a... should at least give you more health, or everyone should give you health, not just a select few. In, in Metroid Other M, yeah, that's right, nothing gives you health in Other M. And all you have is your concentration, which does not always work. So I do not think that is cheap or game-breaking, by any means. It does kind of make the missile expansions not all that important, but oh well. Alright, you gotta shoot it. It's not like Mega Man here, because I was just playing Mega Man 2. I'm great at Mega Man 2, until I get to Wily's Castle. I used to be able to beat Stage 1, now I can't, because the first boss is extremely cheap. Because one hit and you're dead. I hate that. One hit and you're dead. Cheapest thing in the world. And yeah, I know. Oh, uh, one hit doesn't kill you. No, one hit doesn't kill you, but one hit knocks you back. Knock back is the second cheapest thing to... to one hit and you're dead. Which is why... part of the reason why Castlevania 3 sucks... I mean, I draw a fine line between classic hard gaming and just... Bad games for its time. I don't really know. Castlevania 3. Why a 9.5? Really? Maybe I never got far enough. But Nintendo Capri Sun has an excellent LP of it. Which was his first LP ever, really. Hmm. Maybe that should be my next Let's Fail classic, except for everybody fails at Castlevania 3. Though no one as much as I. Like, if, if I was playing Castlevania 3, I distinctly remember playing that on Halloween a couple years ago, just to get in the mood. And, uh, all I remember is that stage with all the owls. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot you can shoot up. Yeah, but you can't shoot di you can't shoot diagonally either way. So, game over again. Well, you know what? What did I expect? Me to get at least as far as I did before? I'm not even doing as well as I did before. So this is gonna be our last try. Mm -hmm. Go, Samus, go. Samus does run pretty fast. I mean, in space, you expect her to run slow. In other M she runs fast as well, and every game she runs fast, and she can jump higher than Mario can. Well, that's probably just because she is in space. I wonder I always wonder why the gravity suit doesn't lessen your jumping. If it's supposed to reduce the effects of gravity. But it actually just makes your jumping normal underwater. That's all. And in other M, it has a secondary effect, but I don't want to spoil anything. Not for a game I, I'm confirming my LPing for. And yeah, you know, I was actually kind of saying like when I, when we're doing like when everybody's doing requests for L, in LPs for Nintendo Capri Sun, do this, do that, do this, do that. I said my request would go to the other end. That's what I would want to see him LP. And now I'm kind of not so sure about that since I'm going to LP it. Now what I want to see Nintendo Capri Sun LP is actually a game I've never played before just because it's a game that, I don't know, out of all of his LPs he said he might do. Uh, maybe Mega Man 8. That, that was the one I was thinking that he should do next. I'm not sure how many people actually requested that, but hey, I would love to see Mega Man 8. Mega Man 7 and 8 are often thought of as not as good as the classic 6. Yeah, 6 games on one system, that's incredible. Probably 4, 5, and 6 aren't. Like 1 and 2 are classics, 3 is... I don't know, I'm talking about way too many other games. Oh well. Oh boy, and why don't you shoot that far? You might as well have a long sword. Ah, oh. I suck at this game. Either I suck or the game sucks. I don't know. I might not 
record Mega Man 3 on tomorrow, actually. Who knows, but... Either I suck or the game sucks. Who knows? So if anybody enjoyed watching me fail this time, I don't know. Part of the reason I didn't record a fail of the classic for a while is because I didn't really want to. And especially, I thought, I thought I might never do one again after what happened in Donkey Kong Country Returns. I didn't think there would be much purpose in to make videos that made fun of my failing. But I think it's easier when you go in knowing you're going to fail. And there's going to be a Donkey Kong 64 video come up that's going to be called Let's Fail and Rant. It's going to count as a regular LP part, but it's not going to be called Let's Play. It's going to be called Let's Fail and Rant. Children who watch my other videos, do not watch that one. Because it will not be pretty.